all we have here is a problem with the uh, maybe the brake, and we want to see if uh, the pads are worn out. Man, that's tight. The last time I seen a video of this was about uh, wheel locks, right? And this is the wheel locks that was stolen off of the car. Well, that's the first thing I take off. Let's get right to the uh, inspection of the brakes. You all know how to lift up a car, jack it, chalk it, all that good stuff. So let's just get right to it. For all those that who don't know, that's where it goes. Right there. Lift, 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 until you can lift no more. But before I start lifting, I'm going to go chalk my wheel now. Oh, like I said, I don't got anything of, uh, you know... Here's my jack. Where's it gonna go? Right about there. All looks good, nice and solid. Ready to take my tire off. This has been here since about day one. So my tire's all ready to come off. Time to go order some brakes. It's that simple to spec them. How many brakes do we get? We get two, four, a six, eight. Yes, indeed. Let me show you a nice close up look. In 4K, you better believe it. I don't have to take the caliper off or the slider pins just to inspect this. So, time to go get a 2017 CRVEXL brake pad. Roughly about 60 bucks at the OEM for each of the pads. So, we're going to have to go place an order and do a brake job. Eh, some people, they just don't know how to do things in life, and you have to show them this way, and that's the way you go about things. The hardest part here is lifting, trying to get this wheel for me up in the air. Oh man, am I struggling indeed. Not at all. i just taking my time, getting it on there, aligning it up. That's the heaviest part of the job. For five minutes to check your car and somebody to charge you an arm and a leg, that's what you get. So yeah, do it right the first time. Take your time. Don't rush it. You'll get the job done. Now, are you going to go get the uh, OEM, uh, aftermarkets, go to Rock Auto? All up to you where you want to go order your brakes from. I'll either go to the dealer, not the parts department, but online and find a parts department area. And I'll get my brakes. So here I am using a star wrench, a cross wrench, and I'm going every other one. Now, you're going to say, oh, he's going to go to the next one. Hell yeah. There's no rule, no lore. As long as you do this on the ground and you tighten up your bolts the correct way. The lug nuts. I call them bolts. They're lug nuts. So I slide this one on. Get it back on there. And I am going now to simply just uh, raise up the car a little. Get this jack out. And off I go. time here. Nice and tight, every other one. This is the one I don't want to make super tight, but tight enough. So that's tight, put that to the side, and let's go make these all tight and polish this up. This one, this one, this one, and that one. Oh, man. That is done. I'm all taken care of. Go get my brakes ordered and see you on the next video. So don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Brake job change out coming soon at ya. See you all later. Oh, most people don't know where to really look. 
there's the maximum line there's the minimum line if this thing goes low that means your brakes are low needs replacement so always check your fluid that's the hint of not taking the tire off if it goes low for any other reasons that could be a leak you may never know that's another way to inspect I just thought I'd let you guys know that nobody out there really knows that but there you go I'll catch you all later on the next one